You see, I had a father who said when we were very little to my sister and myself, we were brought up, you girls can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. Don't hang around waiting for permission all the time. If you really feel you want to do something and your heart's in it, do it. I've never talked to groups of women about asserting themselves because it's an individual thing. But if I did have an idea, boy, I really worked at, make, at doing it. There's the fun of it, there's the joy of it not having to be political at all. In fact, it's forbidden. It's not forbidden by written laws, it's just there, you don't. I've seen countries that are, that are fighting each other, our members and scouting embrace each other. At the World Conference in Paris, when three former uh, communist countries joined after how many years of communism and no scouting because they took it away. The communists wouldn't have it. And these three very old men in old uniforms with flags of their country, Hungary, Poland, Czechoslovakia, came up to rejoin the World Conference officially. And then it was announced that Palestine was going to be admitted to the World Conference in a special role because the Palestinian scouts have been terrific and they've been going for many, many years, but they were never admitted because they're not a country. But they were admitting Palestine. And I knew, I knew the Palestinian International Commissioner and he went up with tears running down his cheeks and the International Commissioner from Israel ran up and embraced him. And I cried, of course. And in every disaster, you will find the scouts there, helping, doing what they were taught to do, first aid, rescue, whatever, they will be there. In Haiti, Two little scout troops with homemade carts pulled 700 injured Haitians across the border into the Dominican Republic for medical treatment. I have seen many cases where parents whose father was in scouting has, have got this reluctant child in to my pack at Second Westmount. I, and you know, and so I've said to, I've always said the same to him. I said, he said, uh, my dad wants me to be a cub. I said, yes, but that's not your dad's decision, it's yours. And you've got to try it for two weeks to see if you like it, and if we like you. And if you like it, you can stay, and if you don't like it, you can leave. And it works. They stay. They stay.